Hello, my name is Joe Beer, and I'm with Beer and & Associates, and today we're going to talk about and demonstrate a very unique voltage detector we manufacture here in Blythewood, South Carolina, which is our VDH300. It stands for Voltage Detector Analog, and the H is for a hold feature. 300, 300 means 300 kV. So it's a very unique tool in the fact that it is a linear logarithmic meter. So if you look on the scale here, it's actually a linear meter up to 40 kV and then logarithmic to 300. So this tool is capable of voltage detection of all your distribution voltages as well as transmission voltages. That way you actually don't have to incorporate two separate tools to do both functions, you can just use one tool. On the back you'll notice has a five position selector switch, an off and on, and the second on actually incorporates the light, has a bright LED light, and the fourth position is a hold feature. So the hold feature should only be used above 40 kV, so your higher distribution voltages and obviously your transmission voltages, you can use the hold feature. And then finally, your fifth position is your test position, the T position, and what you want to see is a full deflection of your meter scale here. So this is about a 90% test. So it's basically taking the battery voltage down the probe and back and testing about 90% of the circuitry. We highly encourage that everyone use a 100% test. And what I mean by that is if you uh, incorporate our handheld power supply, part number HHPS, Turn this to the on position, depress the little button here, and you'll see the needle deflect at about 7 kV. So that's a 100% test. It actually takes a known voltage, touch it to the conductor on the probe tip, and the meter has to deflect or not deflect depending on obviously if it's working or not. So this is a known test. We also have a 3 kV power supply you see on the table here. This is also going to deflect about 7 kV. So either one of these tools can be used to, again, test the meter after you do a battery test, do a live potential test, a known voltage test, you know, perform whatever job you're going to perform, test the device again, test the battery again. So we highly encourage everyone use a known voltage test before and after they use this tool. So some of the safety features about this tool. We have a, an epoxy encapsulated probe with a 25 million ohm resistor. So that's the highest resistance in the industry. So there's a lot of protection between the conductive tip and the back of this meter. So we actually put a limit mark on this probe tip right here. And this limit mark basically means that you don't want to go past this mark whenever you're around ground planes or other conductors. Um, if you do go past this limit mark where you're coming in close proximity to this housing, we have an adapter here, our zero ohm extension adapter, that you can actually incorporate with this device. It has a quarter 20 thread on it. Just thread it onto the end of the probe tip here. Add 16 inches, additional 16 inches. Now my conductive tip is out here. My housing is much further away from that ground plane or other potential. So again, it's adding a lot of safety to this device uh, already that's built into it. The device is made out of a durable ABS material. Uh, even though it is an insulating material, we highly encourage, again, use a device, you know, give yourself some, uh, some space so you're not in close proximity to a ground or other potentials. Again, if you have to use a zero ohm extension to do that, or maybe even two zero ohm extensions, you know, we highly encourage you do that. The device is waterproof in this orientation, which most of the time that's the way you're going to use it. Um, we can waterproof it in this orientation upon request, but it is a water resistance uh, from the factory. Behind the live line tool fitting incorporates the 9 volt battery. You just thread this out, pop the 9 volt battery out, you can replace that. You'll notice whenever you do your te test, if this battery is getting low, the deflection may only go to 120 or so that's when you want to go ahead and replace your battery. So behind me we do have some accessories here. These are some of the overhead accessories. This is our hook probe adapter. 
and we also have a straight probe adapter. Both of these probes just thread right into your quarter 20 female threads here. You can hang this on a conductor, you know, bus, whatever it may be. And the straight probe adapter obviously just gives you some more surface area. So maybe this surface area isn't quite enough. This kind of gives you more surface area to land on that conductor um, to take better readings. For some underground work, we have a bushing adapter here. This is made out of a durable TPE material, so it is pliable, very durable. Again, quarter 20 threads. This thread's right here on the, on the end of the probe. It also has a nice cover up here. So you do cover up your conductive surface if you're working underground, you know, inside of any type of PME where you may have some static or drain wires coming nearby. It, it covers up that probe tip, that conductive surface really good. Our universal grip all adapter is a nylon reinforced plastic, so it's very durable. You just thread it right here on the live line tool fitting. And it does, what's unique about it, it does incorporate obviously the universal spline fitting and also the hole here to land your, your grip all stick. So again, great, great accessory. You can use it for either stick. Our grip all adapter, we have the part number here on it, the AGA, made by beer. It's a permanent mold aluminum casting. So it's extremely durable, much stronger than a sand cast. So again, just thread it right here on the live line tool fitting, all your grip all sticks. This is our universal stick adapter. Part number right here, AUN, again made by beer, permanent mold casting, extremely durable. Just thread it right here on your live line tool fitting, attach your universal stick to it. You ready? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pull this middle phase dust cover off before we take our reading, voltage, nominal voltage reading. So Ryan Beer, he's gonna go ahead and do the live demonstrations for us. So again, since we're going to go ahead and take some nominal voltage readings, underground readings, we want to go ahead and thread the bushing adapter on the meter, make sure it's secure, and then we'll be ready to take some nominal voltage readings. First we want to do a uh, battery test. So we always want to do a battery test first. So go ahead and turn it all the way to the T position. We get a good needle, a good needle deflection. Now we're going to do a 100% test with a handheld power supply as well. Again, we want to see that needle deflect. Again, it's going to be pretty close to 7 kV on this meter. Okay, so that's a 100% known voltage test. So the meter is inserted all the way into the bushing. Again, linear logarithmic, linear up to about 40 kV. So this meter is showing roughly about 20 kV phase to ground. So if we want to get a more accurate reading, let's go ahead and incorporate the zero ohm extension with the bushing probe adapter and see if we can get that reading a little bit more accurate. Because if I go back here a little bit, you'll notice that housing is fairly close to that ground plane off to the left. So that's going to drive that reading up a little bit higher. So let's go ahead and try the zero ohm extension as well. Now we have the zero ohm extension on the voltage detector. And you'll notice the reading has dropped down a little bit more. So that housing has gotten further away from that ground plane. Again, the cabinet's grounded. So that housing's gotten a little bit further away. So the needle's gotten down a little bit lower. Uh, closer to the nominal voltage reading. So again, after doing a battery test and a known voltage test, just like we did on our underground demonstration, you want to perform both those tests before using the device on the overhead as well. So now we have the device again on the first on position and we have a hook probe adapter on it as well. So we'll go ahead and run it up. Again, it's 13.8 kV. We want to take our reading, our nominal voltage reading. So let me zoom in on the on the reading a little bit better. So again, the meter, the VDH300 is in the first on position. We're touching 13.8 kV. You'll notice the readings 
much more accurate now working the meter overhead versus underground it's very close to 14 kV so the VDH 300 is going to be more accurate in overhead applications versus underground applications we do calibrate it uh, to be used mainly in overhead applications but as you noticed in the underground application you still can use a device as a nominal voltage detector we very much appreciate your time watching this video uh, doing a quick demonstration of the VDH 300 again if you have any questions just give us a call at 803-786-4839 or you can email us at customer underscore service at beermeters.com you can visit us on our website www.beermeters.com and you can join us on Facebook and LinkedIn if you do require training please reach out to us we can visit on site and uh, conduct additional training if need be you can visit us here at our training yard and uh, conduct some training. Um, so either way works great for us. Just let us know. Again, we appreciate the support. And again, stay safe and have a great day.